Hi everyone, it is Suzanne Hart and I have a thought for you. Does adversity build character or does it reveal it? It's an interesting question. It was that question actually put to me by my good friend Cindy and we actually had a wonderful discussion as we were trying to figure it out. It brought me back to when I was managing uh, the drop-in in downtown Toronto and we would hire staff. And one of the things I learned over that time is we often hire for skills, but we fire for character. And this goes back to the question that Cindy was asking me. We, yeah, we actually fire for character. What I mean by that was somehow in the interview, people presented really well and they had all the skills we needed. But as time progressed, we would fire for their character, the character that had emerged as we, they were doing the work and they were challenged. And this is what I saw, was that character is built over time and it's, the, it's our habits expressed over time, many, many, many years. So as we become adults, for many of us, our character is quite set. However, when people are in a great situation or a control situation, very much like an interview, they present in a way that, that has you believe that this is how they are all the time. They put their best foot forward. And oftentimes they, they get hired or you begin to build a relationship or you get to know them. And then adversity hits. A situation that stresses them, challenges them, does not have them get their own way, whatever it is. And often in those moments, their real character emerges. And so it's not that the situation builds their character, I think the situation actually reveals who they are because our true character often is what we see when people are stressed, when people are challenged, and often when people don't get their, what they want, their true character is revealed. And so I have to believe that adversity does not necessarily build your character, but it does reveal it. And, and you know, in the same way, they say that when you, if you're a negative person and you get a lot of money, that you just get to be a more negative person. If you're a positive person and you get more money, you get to be a more positive person. I think it's no different. If you're a positive person and you step into a challenging situation um, and your character is positive of service, you will, you, you will see more of that. And if you're negative, we'll see more of that. However, I had to ask myself, what are those situations where character actually begins to shift, grow, and expand? And I do believe that there are times when we become challenged and we realize that our way of being, that is traditional, our automatic way of being, our existing character is no longer working. And in that moment, we often get to choose and that's when character is built. Right? But I think character is built only in those times when people recognize that their traditional way of being, their coping mechanisms, who they are, is no longer serving them. And in that moment, they actually get to choose who they want to be going forward. And I think that happens when you're uncomfortable, you have a new insight, you're probably feeling totally out of control, nothing is working, and you decide you've got to choose something different. And in those minute moments, you get an opportunity to build character. So the answer is, I believe in most situations, adversity reveals character. But there are those extreme situations where we recognize that who we are in the world in this moment is no longer serving us, and we choose to shift and develop our character and expand it. So that's my thought for today. I'd love to hear what you think. Thank you, Cindy, for the amazing question. And I will talk to you next week. Take care.